guys I'm back with another one and in this one we are taking a look at Helenation's Talon F7 fusion board so um, to go over what's in the packaging you get your rubber grommets battery connector XT30 but I'm going to use it uh, with the standard size ESC you get these small inserts to go from M3 to M2 screws if your frame doesn't support support M2 but if you have M3 the uh, screw actually uh, settles really nicely in the M3 hole so yeah you can use it with that you got three cables um, that's used for connecting to the Acon AK32 uh, Speedix uh, GS25A and Airbot uh, Ori32 so those are all uh, 20 by 20 uh, size ESCs but I'll be showing you how to make your own wiring to connect the ESC to the FC via the, the supplied cable or rather to make your own so what's um, uh, so let's go over the um, FC itself uh, what's so special about it is the dual gyro setup it's not using either one or the other it's, it uses uh, them both simultaneously to filter out uh, as much noise as possible uh, there are two ICM 2602 uh, gyros positioned 19 degrees to each other now we have the OSD chip we have the F7 chip and we have ample UARTs uh, actually 6 and this port is uh, the 3 to 6S capable so uh, in the next part of the video I'm going to as I said, connected to the uh, uh, ESC, I'm going to solder up my crossfire um, receiver and I'm going to solder up the uh, VTX to the FC so you can yeah, use it in this video as sort of tutorial how to assemble the, the Talon F7 Fusion. In this part of the video I'm going to connect the ESC to the FC via this supplied cable. So in order to do this you need to identify the ports on the ESC and the FC so, so you can wire them cor correctly. I'm going to use only power but the process is the same for for signal TX uh, and everything else so on the ESC the first and the second port is our ground uh, our uh, voltage and ground and on the FC we have uh, the voltage and the ground on first two pins so we need to rewire this cable to or in order to uh, connect both of them. The way I like to do is uh, I uh, use this small exacto knife and I simply removed uh, the cables I don't need. You simply lift the tab, this plastic tab holding the wire now you can easily 
pull the wire out. And I will do the same for the next pin. So simply lift the tab. So you lift the small tab and you simply pull out the wire so what you what you end up with is slightly bent plastic pins but you can simply press them down so I have these two wires okay, so as I said I need I need the ground wire to go on the second port and so they're here to second here so you simply look for the little tab on the on the cable and with the tab pointed upwards you simply slide the wire into the corresponding space I like to do is use the needle nose pliers or simply to press it in so yeah now I have the third board connecting to, connected to the second on the FC so I'm not going to use this wire because the wiring is all wrong and I'm not going to connect everything up but just use the uh, voltage so I can show you the the rest of the wiring so uh, now I have the power to the FC from the ESC so now that we have the FC connected to the uh, ESC and we have the power to the FC we are going to uh, connect everything else you need for uh, assembly so and we are going to connect the RX, BTX and the camera to the soldering pads on the FC. So let's go and do that. First of all, let's do uh, the BTX. So in order to do that, uh, you need your positive and negative wires of the to power the BTX your smart audio wires and there are two ways of going on about uh, connecting the camera usually what I do is just split the yellow wire that, uh, <coughs> that is going to the camera and VTX and you simply solder it to the VTX uh, portion and to the cam portion so in order to get your on screen display so you have uh, the VTX signal going going to the first pad on the bottom if your uh, USB is to the right side so it's actually um, VTX signal VTX positive negative and your smart audio on the TX uh, on the TX and on the upper side you get your voltage in positive negative and your cam signal so in order to do this since we are uh, going to power the VTX from the pads on the 
on the uh, FC itself uh, but I actually see that I forgot to choose the power on the on the pads so let's bridge the let's bridge this uh, pads to give accurate power now that I have the VPAT uh, pads soldered together or bridged now I can proceed to the next part uh, first uh, let us uh, do the power to the VTX so in order to do that you need to solder the positive wire negative wire your smart audio so you have only uh, part missing is the video and what I usually do is I just split the cable here And the next bit is there so this is how you connect your VTX in order to get your uh, OSD on so we are powering the the uh, VTX from the power source on the uh, FC is itself so we have video positive negative and smart audio and on the on the top we have the video from the third pad from the left so you're ready to plug your cam in so when you have your power plugged in you have the whole circuit ready next we are going to connect the your receiver in order to do that I'm going to use RX pads on the top we have our first from the right is ground then it's 5 volt and then it's RX pad here so <clears throat> this is the all, all connected so we have receiver from on top so so we have uh, the receiver ground on the most right next to that is 5 volt powering the receiver next is uh, rx pin giving or receiving the signal from the rx next to that is the video from your for your camera If you are powering your camera from the VTX, you don't need to to solder anything uh, to here. But if you want to get rid of these two wires, you can connect the black wire to the ground and right and red to the most left power. And on the bottom, you have 
your smart audio, your ground, your your voltage, and your uh, video signal. And on the bottom you have your power going to the to the FC from your ESC. As I explained already, you can. Uh, easily customize the, this uh, wiring harness to fit your um, uh, ESC. Uh, if you are using Crossfire, I will actually use uh, this bottom uh, um, UR4 pads. So you have um, TX, RX, ground and uh, 5 volt. It's really convenient to, to uh, solder your crossfire here and these two parts the pads are for your buzzer if you're using a buzzer and you have ample yards here for your uh, other accessories so yeah this is uh, everything wired up and next thing is we are going to assemble everything on the quad and Let's see how this uh, FC performs. So let's go do that. Here is the test setup. Uh, we have the Helination Talon. We have the uh, four-in-one furling uh, ESC. We have the Rush VTX, and we have the Flywoo 2306.5 uh, motors uh, running on 6S. So let's take it for a flight and see how it performs. As you can see, the FC performed uh, brilliantly. Um, it's actually hard to tell the difference between two FCs because everyone or every single one of them performs good. It's all in the tuning of the quad, but for initial and default bits, this is really, really good. So it has really nice uh, vibration insulation uh, and yeah, it performed. As you can see, really good. So I, I recommend this uh, FC, and you can buy yours in the from the link in the description.